Hello there, this anonymous oracle here with a pop-in collective message. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a collective reading, so this reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time-specific or sign-specific, so please take the messages that apply and simply leave the rest. I've been really busy the last few days. I promised you guys I would finish the individual signs. <laughs> Virgo and Pisces are holding on for dear life <laughs> somewhere in a baggie. I'm going to finish them, so don't worry. I'm going to do them right after this reading. But I I wanted to basically be open with you guys and share an incident that occurred recently. I've had somebody purchase a reading, but they used a fake name, okay? So what does that do to a reader? We feel weird while we're doing the reading because... We pick up on the intention as to why somebody did that, right? So this is just like a <laughs> PSA um, not to do that. I feel like it ruins the experience for other people who do genuinely want to book a reading with me. Um, I've had repeat clients since 2019, so I'm not too worried about it, but I'm going to be incredibly cautious when it comes to new people who book with me. All right because it's just not fun it's like mid-reading i'm like wait a dang minute and i'm not sure what the motive is for each person that tries to do it i feel like it's happened a couple times before but in this incident whoever this is behind this fabricated name it's almost like the reason why they wanted to book this reading with me was to prove that i'm not who i say i am or to um run with the reading and do something else with it and i'm I'm not here for it, okay? So in the end, uh, I didn't do the reading, but uh, it's just so that whoever this is knows that I'm very much so onto them. And it's so crazy how I had a very particular dream the morning um, of me needing to do the reading. And yeah, <laughs> so it's like, listen, uh, spirit don't play, okay? If I need to know something, I, it will come to me. It will come to me in time. And I felt incredibly uneasy mid-reading. It was very confusing to me. And that's when I know that something about the names weren't matching up. It's like, am I picking up on that person? Am I picking up on... I can feel it, okay? Even if it's a new client, I can feel when it's it hits the nail on the head intuitively. And when it's it's discombobulated. And then I felt the motive. So when I when I felt the motive sink in the pit of my stomach, as I'm doing the reading, I was like, mm. Mm -mm. shutting it down <laughs> shutting it down right now so i'm very very glad that i um am protected in that way with my gut instincts okay but that's just for me to let y'all know if i'm mia or if i for whatever reason withdraw from my channel there is a reason for that <laughs> okay but i am okay i'm fine i just find it very unpleasant and unfortunate okay i do i really really do it's just not nice it's not nice. It's very childish. Okay. And whoever this is, it's a woman, a very insecure female. Okay. Because it's like, I don't know what you <laughs> were trying to achieve in doing that, but um, I sniff you right out. Okay. So stop it. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't need to fight fire with fire. But yeah, this person is very much so allowed to know that I'm aware of you and that I find it very, very immature okay so with that being said let's move forward y'all other few things that i've been noticing especially concerning this full moon time there's so much exposure going on y'all it's not even funny some people can't even help themselves they're just going to tell on themselves uh, my mom had showed me an airport incident that happened in jamaica where this uh, woman she was heading back to i believe it was las vegas she had a mental breakdown in the airport. And I know that when like certain things happen, whether you lose your luggage, you miss your flight, it can be incredibly stressful. I've traveled so many places, so it really isn't strange that somebody like snaps, right? There was this one man that snapped because his dog was missing and that dog is like family to him. So it's completely understandable. But I'm going to tell you something about this particular woman, right? The way she snapped the first thing that I could see in her was an unclean spirit, okay? So that's kind of like demonic possession. And I don't know what pushed her over the edge, but she ripped her clothes off. She was naked as the day she was born. I think she only had her bra on. And she was doing very like, 
you know, terrible things to herself and trying to grab the genitals of the security at the airport, like all kinds of stuff, just screaming. Um, they had to pin her down. It was so embarrassing, but I just find it incredibly sad because this person was a dentist. You would think, you know, and they want to blame it on schizophrenia. I don't think it is. Like I could genuinely see that that was an unclean spirit and um, she needs help, right? So a lot of a lot of things are just going to seem very strange and out of the blue and you might not understand why things are going on as they're going on but there's a bigger reason behind it okay <laughs> there is a bigger reason behind it i really feel this energy of the divine energetically coaxing things out driving things out and it's not going to be fun some people might be very uncomfortable this season I don't think I've ever seen the streets this busy over here. And a lot of impatience lingers around, like people doing crazy detours on the road, ghost riding because they're that impatient. And it's just like, right now, <laughs> if you can hunker down, ground your energy as much as you can, cleanse your space, do so. Because it's going to be very, very interesting the next um, couple of days, weeks, cycling through Aquarius season. Um, happy birthday to any Aquarius out there. Um, yeah, it's our season, guys. Listen. Listen. So, yeah. Let's move forward. Let's see if I can get uh, one of these cards. Starting the reading. After all that jibber-jabber. What do we have for the collective today? Let's get on with it. Conclusions are within reach. Yeah, it just feels like wrapping things up. Um, maybe where where people had a question mark over certain situations, you're going to get your answers. It's almost like I feel there's this energy of a sigh of relief when I get this card. It's like, okay, like I can get past that. I can tick that box off. I, I also feel lessons, okay? Lessons are rounding themselves up. Um, sometimes lessons are less fun than others, right? Nobody like wants to learn things the hard way, okay? I can't make it up. The answers you need are coming. I just said something about a question mark. I'm getting chills. This card says the answers you need are coming. What was hidden from you will come to light. You see how here her eyes are closed and here they're open. Ching! And that's another thing. I had such an aggressive parrot in my dream. And, and parrots are indicative of gossipers. And it was so funny because I love I love animals. So I'm always like a, a nut for, <laughs> for animals in my dreams. So when I saw the parrot in my dream, I was like, oh, yeah. I just wanted to cuddle with it, right? And it was screaming so loud. And it, it tried to get in the house, but something blocked it from coming in the house. So it's kind of like there could be an energetic or collective uh, message in there where people are trying to penetrate you in terms of what are you doing? Where are you going? What's next for you? Because new cycles are, are starting. Okay, so be very mindful with what you share right now, with who you share it with. Okay, any any projects, any good things coming in for you, just be mindful who you share it with, okay? It was so insane. I was I was walking somewhere and I, I bumped into this girl and I was talking to her and something told me like I was talking to her about something and then spirit just rung me in my left ear, like, you better shut up. <laughs> I was like, what? I kept my mouth shut. And afterwards, I figured out why, because she was apparently related to somebody who knew something and that person was like um you know not the nicest individual so i was like oh you see how that would have spun the block my information because she knows he he knows she it, i was just like wow look at spirit just completely annihilated my left ear to tell me to shut up so you need to know when to shut up as well okay that's another collective message y'all listen when i'm gone for a few days it's like we have to catch up back to speed all right um <laughs> oh man let's see i'm just gonna grab a regular regular deck i'm just gonna see whatever wants to come through pertaining to you guys in this season whatever storyline is most relevant for everyone wow i'm seeing this card right from another deck and i'm looking at the dove and i heard peace be with you that's beautiful Peace be with you. So for some of you, this destruction is going to restore peace in your life because I am feeling very much so tower energy. 
okay? That's from a different deck. I'm seeing the Ace of Wands. I see the Nine of Pentacles. Peace be with you again with that. With that dove, it looks like the Holy Spirit, okay? I got a little rush of chills. All right, but let me just get my tried and true deck and see what messages we have for today. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck. The Fool. New beginnings. Starting at ground zero. Ooh. I heard something about failure to launch. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I heard failure to launch. Yeah, maybe somebody failed to launch once, but they're being called. I always see the Hierophant as like my God card, the higher power card. Something is encouraging a person to take a leap of faith, okay? This is someone who might be really like sheltered right now, concerned about um, financial matters the same way this man is holding on to their coins. There's something that serves as a security blanket for a person. Now, security blankets can be relationships, right? Security blankets could be coping mechanisms. Security blankets could be money, okay? A stash, I'm hearing. <laughs> There's something that a person is clutching on to. They could also just be a bit fearful when it comes to um, something they feel called to do. With the Five of Cups in the reverse, somebody here could be trying to get out of a space of grief and balance themselves because some, some kind of weight is on this person's shoulders. We have the Nine of Swords, Ten of Wands. There could also have been some kind of an alert when I get Justice to the Page of Wands. Justice is also a card of balance, restoring balance. Karma, okay, <laughs> leveling things out. Some kind of alert, intuitively, physically, in the real world, could have made this person's alarms go off, okay? It's kind of like, oh, wow, oh, crap, it's time. Something feels like, I got the alert, I got the calling, I know that it's time to do this, or I know that it's time to start this project, I know that it's time to have that go-ahead with what I, I, I'm feeling called to do, okay? The pressure is on, all right? So it's like this person doesn't have, it's almost like they feel like they need to ground themselves, whether emotionally, financially, mentally even, with this nine swords here to get things going, okay? Because every time I see this guy, he's like, you hear, you heard, okay, it's time. And then the fool takes a leap of faith. All right, so let's see. What do we need to know for the collective? We have the page of coins. This is... It can be indicative of turning over a new leaf with a page of pentacles. It could also be a card of um, planting a new seed, a fresh idea, learning something new, right? This might take a bit of courage with a strength card. Okay, so wands. <laughs> That's like a kickstart. It is uh, excitement. It's passion. This does read like it could be just, I don't know, it reads like jumper cables to something, revving up an engine. Um, there's a lot of passion in this. could be a project for some of you. This could be a project where you're going to be helping others or you're going to um, exchange services. This, this requires a level of patience and balance within. To me, I feel more so like divine timing attached to the temperance angel but i'm also getting this vibe of you you need to be balanced for this maybe even emotionally for those who resonate with this because some kind of crossroads or free will decision is at play so it's like i don't want to make a decision i don't want to go left or right from an unbalanced place okay it's like, I don't need to jump off this ledge and do this if I'm frantic, in my head, unbalanced. So it's like a balancing act, trying to ground oneself to make a wise um, action, okay? We have the Queen of Water. This um, could be a feminine energy who is feeling a lot. <laughs> I get an energy with the Ten of Wands. It's like someone is affected by the energies, Someone might know that something is upon them as well. So it's making their emotions and their intuition kind of go off here. We have the Page of Swords. That's that monitoring energy. The Page of Swords is someone who gathers information, looks, studies. Okay, so there could be a person who's kind of like on one's tail here. Very like apprehensive. I'm also getting the energy of someone who is calculating the best time to contact someone. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. 
So I don't know if this is you uh, as a water sign, or there could be a water sign or a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, who could be looking at the best time <laughs> to contact someone. I don't know why I'm getting that. This is divine timing. Seven of Pentacles, it took a while. Like I, either this is a long time of observation, a long time of studying, a long time. Seven of Pentacles is months to years. It's like, Holding on to what I got for the perfect timing. And I and I don't know where this is coming from, but let's find out. What is this page of swords on, y'all? <laughs> Someone is like three swords. This, this is a heartbroken individual, okay? So whoever is monitoring is heartbroken for whatever reason. This is someone who is um, exercising how they feel from a space of pain, okay? The three swords, the image is pretty self-explanatory. It is someone who is hurting, right? This is someone who could be emotional during this full moon season, all right, in their fields. Yes, they are the ones that could be a little off balance uh, with a two of pentacles. It's like a juggling act to ground oneself. I'm not sure what this uh, has to do with anything here, okay? So if you are in pain, monitoring, you're encouraged to ground yourself Tell me more about this new beginning that requires emotional balancing. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Mm -mm. And when I get my God card again, it's like <laughs> the divine is dismantling something that is not working out. When I get the Three of Pentacles in the upright, it is a card of teamwork, right? It is two or more, but in this case, it is three. So... Something is being like eclipsed out. It's almost being pushed out of a team of people, a group of people, a, a trio for some of you. This is like, it reads like um, a third party situation and third party situations could be at work, family, okay, partners. There's something here that is getting, what's the word? It is seeing the light of, of getting nudged out. It's almost like you can't sit with us, <laughs> right? If you have the mean girls and you have the canteen and they're going to go sit at a table and it's like, you can't sit with us. So there's an energetic, you can't sit with us, whatever that means for you, right? This could be a friends group who are no longer friends. This could be a group of people who had a mutual goal, whose mutual goals have shifted to personal goals, okay? So it could look like anything, but that's here. Ooh. Four of Cups came out a little frantic. Yeah, it's kind of like, I don't want to be a part of this anymore. I don't care to engage. I don't care, right? This could also be an energy who feels like, if I don't leave this, <laughs> I heard. I'm not going to say what I heard. If I'm going to leave this thing, I'm, if I'm not going to leave this thing, I'm going to miss out on an opportunity. Because in the reverse, it is a missed opportunity that somebody wants to gain again. Okay, so it's almost like, let's say this job is hindering me from becoming an entrepreneur. I don't, I don't have, I don't have a shared goal with you anymore. I'm not here after the company's uh, mission statement on their website. I'm here to <laughs> make bank on my own, right? That's kind of what I feel. It's like, I, mm, I need to move ahead from this. So people could be feeling that way as well. It's like, I, I want to upgrade. Okay. This could also be a friends group. It's like, I don't jive well with what you guys talk about. You guys gossip all the time. This is distasteful. I'm, uh, I don't want to join you anymore, um, right? This could also be like a partnership for some, okay? Where it's like, oh, your mom is always butting in or so-and-so is always in, involved and I'm going to move forward because I feel like I'm missing out on my life. Whatever it is, right? <laughs> Hierophant, this keeps flashing. For some of you, it's, it's belief systems that are shifting. It's like, I see things differently now. I don't feel the same. Eight of Cups. Yeah, man. King of Swords. There is definitely someone whose cutoff game is super strong right now. There's a person who is fully in their common sense and not in their emotions, which is quite brilliant because I really feel like this is someone who, to the contrary, knows how to shut down from their emotions and just be head over heart for two seconds this is uh, a king of swords energy is like kind of cold and detached and aloof i keep hearing turned off turned off someone is incredibly turned off by another person this is someone who could be um withdrawing from their emotions that they otherwise before would maybe feel a lot concerning yeah this is the sheltered person all right so someone here is very guarded um 
this is somebody who might want to like spend more time alone with themselves it's like i don't really want to deal with this i don't really want to be a part of this two of cups the moon now there is a partnership that someone does find um worth it okay this could be a new partnership whether in business and love right it's like that i do like there's something here that is does work three of pentacles in the reverse is like mm -mm. but the two of cups in the upright that is a partnership that is worth someone's while with the moon here there are some mysteries regarding this it's almost like cloaked even yes and i feel like this is someone who mentally this is this is boggling them okay it's kind of like a mind-boggling experience in terms of um this being a desire the star speaks of wishes hope healing um destiny unfolding right the reason why this is in this person's mind rent free is because it's part of um their destined timeline whatever this is right so it's almost like it's just like their taste buds are being course corrected so if my taste buds are being course corrected which on god y'all they most definitely have there was a season like i think i mentioned it briefly on my channel where i just could not eat meat for the life of me and like certain things would just gross me out and that's me feeling called to fast okay so it's like i'll just fast for a few days or like drink soups and stuff just to kind of get by but when i tell you i have a mad ick for certain foods right now it's insane right and i heard <laughs> I had someone in the comment section ask me, you sure you ain't pregnant? No, I'm not. Um, <laughs> but that's besides the point. I know that it's it's um, the energies that be that are basically changing your taste buds. And um, people can relate with that. I mean, drop it in the comment section if you felt the same. Like certain things, just you just don't have the energy, the, the feel for it anymore. It's an ick. And I think I mentioned this ick a while back as well. God is literally separating people. It's like, you're going to see this ick. You're going to get a spoonful of the ick so that you don't ever want to deal with it again. All right? Mm -hmm. So there's something here that's really bothering, pressing a person in their, on, in their mind, okay, about these changes. But they're withdrawn from their emotions. So it's like the emotional body is shut down, but the mental is on high alert it's it's overdrive okay so it's like this person comes off very cool and detached but in reality their mind is going like a thousand miles per hour which isn't all too healthy either right we have justice well wow. so this is basically part of things restoring balance okay balance being restored in a situation spirit is saying this this card is all about balance um you get what you put out kind of energy karma is here as well i heard a song from justin timberlake in the car today <laughs> it was called um, cry me a river right that's the classic maybe there's someone here who's very detached from a feminine like this could also be a masculine because the king of swords is more in the in their masculine energy it's like i don't cur that you're hurting it's giving cry me a river this looks like a river i'm not even i'm not even playing y'all so somebody here could be very like hyper vigilant of an individual who just doesn't care about them as much and that's bothering them and i feel it's more like a feminine and a masculine for some of you that's in here okay it's like i have no reason to want to like cooperate with someone like you i'm hearing that's that's the, what their spirit is saying it's kind of like i why would i want to work with you how can i work with you it's very frustrated too dying okay emperor whoa <laughs> even my stomach started thunderstorming knight of cups yeah it's like i see an energy that's that's trying to redirect themselves and they're very pensive it's like when their mind ache settles down right because now it went from nine swords to hopefully four swords it's like once i get out of that mind ache the truth will be right there okay this 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 is the ace of swords the truth will be literally right there i'm, I'm hearing for some of you the truth is on one's nightstand so i don't know if there's a phone <laughs> of significance or there's a photo or there's something where it's like the truth is right there the truth is either in one's nightstand in one's cupboards like there's something there's truth in that i'm hearing so somebody here might have something in a nightstand in a cupboard in like a drawer somewhere I don't know why that came to me, okay? I don't know why that came to me. Anyways, Knight of Cups. This is someone who 
Wow. For me to split the deck on this, man. This is what I meant with what happened at the airport on a collective scale. The ugly is getting driven out to be dealt with, okay? This kind of reminds me of my Capricorn season reading, Ten Swords. If y'all don't know about that reading, I should I encourage you to check it out if any of this resonates with you because we just got out of Capricorn season. It's like, and I said something about this cap, like this negative energy is going out with a bang, y'all, a bang, okay? So it's like whatever the enemy is doing, because again, sometimes I just see people as victims of, you know, being goat man pawns. And what do I mean by that? The devil's pawns, okay? But it's like, I heard somebody and read some somebody in the comment section once said like, you know, these people, they play victim all the time, but they chose to deal with so-and-so and so, and they chose to exercise so-and-so and so, and you're absolutely right. Like, people do have free will. Just because you've been through it doesn't give, doesn't make it okay for you to be, like, terrible to others. But when it comes to demonic possessions, oh, that, that, oh my gosh. The, the embarrassment that she brought upon herself, it's like, now she's in a fit of rage, but... When she's calmed down and she goes home and she comes back to her senses, right? Because it's like that thing was operating. But it's like when she comes back to her senses, the shame, the embarrassment. It's like this is this is gone worldwide already. It's it's I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen anything like it. Okay, so you gotta pray for people who can't help it because that thing jumped inside of them. I believe in those things. I don't know if y'all I don't believe in this shoe. If you're watching spirituality, you probably do, okay? King of Wands, Nine of Wands. I'm hearing the word resilience. Okay, so someone here isn't giving up on something, and that has a lot to do with their, their destined path. They refuse to give up on it. It's kind of like eating at them, okay? So whoever this is. Whatever is eating at you, <laughs> you're encouraged to look at it. All right, all right, and dis and discern like what, why, why is it eating at me? Can I make a conclusion of this? Is this an insecurity of myself? Is this is there truth behind it? Is this something I need to pursue or not? Should I leave it alone? Right, explore um, what your thoughts and concerns are trying to tell you, and make a grounded decision. Okay. You want to make no crazy decisions. Happy, happy. Okay, this is, <laughs> this is uh, the way I said it. This is uh, a, a new... I feel good good energy, though. It's like once everything wraps up, it, only, it can only go better. It can only go up from here. It's really like, for some of you, there is a rock bottom in the energy. It's like, I can only go up from here. If you're still alive, okay, bless your soul. Because um, I really get that rock bottom energy here for some fine reason. It can only go up from here. Milk and honey. This is about replenishing yourself, taking care of yourself, okay? Giving yourself the rich, riches of the soul. For some of you, you need a bath. <laughs> the way I said that too, heck. Um, to clean your energy, like a salt bath. For some of you, go to the beach, right? To get yourself in good spirits again. Because you can only go up from here. Yeah, it might require some flexibility though. I'm hearing for some even a move, okay? <clears throat> Changing homes. I'm seeing somebody going from the city to like a calmer environment. Like maybe somebody lives smack dab center of the city and I just, I want to, I need to be flexible, but I want to have like a yard. Like for some of you, you're in like high rise buildings, um, right? It's like dense concrete jungles to whatever it is. For some of you, this is a job switch and you need to be flexible in that, right? I like it. It's good. The tribe, and I also get this vibe, right? Of you, you're gonna, you're gonna figure out who is who is really there for you, or who was really meant to stick around all along. Okay, it's like your tribe, your soul tribe, people who were meant to be in your life for a reason. You're going to come to certain conclusions, like. Okay, this is this is someone significant, whether it be platonic or romantic, and it's like, wow, like no, this is good for me. This is not right. Let me tell me that's a parrot hovering. 
Yeah, <laughs> there's a parrot. I'm telling you, listen, these energies are hovering around people's business, okay? It's really giving like stalkerish. So on that note, I'm going to get my karmic deck. And then I'm going to get Tasha, one of Tasha's decks. Yo, Tasha's decks are fire. If you haven't checked her out, check out I'm Possible's decks, okay? Yeah, this is in the reverse. It says, I'm a past karmic back from the dead. <laughs> the way the cards spun. Um, it's past people who cannot come back around. So it's almost like when the divine shows you who a person is for exactly who they are. Um, and, and there's like a barrier created in that exposure. They can't come back from that phase. Like it's almost like it's just getting cycled out. I don't really know how to explain it. It's like a situation that should have long been put to rest, you know, getting its day. There's a lot of envy in the energy as well. This is giving bombastic side eye. Okay, <laughs> you're getting bombastic side eye right now. Okay, there's a lot of envy here. I can't make it up, bro. Green just isn't my color. I'm ridden with envy. Yeah, man. Hey, okay. my mom always says... Um, if they watch you, give them a show, right? Right. <laughs> mm, this is someone who could have lied on your name, okay? They fell from my web of lies. It's in the reverse. So there's like a, a liar. Somebody who tried to like ruin a person's character is in the energy as well. And it's like, they're, they're pissy because the lie didn't stick, okay? It's like... That's that parrot. It's like someone wanted to spin a narrative, um, assassinate someone's character, blah, blah, blah. And I'm getting a season where it's like delayed gratification for some of you. You're, you're basically going to prove that what someone was trying to do isn't true. That's also in the energy uh, when I get this spider here. There's also been a, a, a recurring theme, spider dreams. Someone here did not fall for a person's web of lies. Yeah, their time is up. Someone here, their manipulation, their lies only came with like, <laughs> it came with an expiration date is what I'm saying. All right. I will sab this, sabotage this at all costs. So this is someone who might want to sabotage things. That's why I say be very careful who you share your business with. All right. Because like you could have something great coming, maybe something you work really hard on. And next thing you know, <laughs> right, this one's like waiting in the wings to ruin it. I'm telling you red hot passionate hate okay they say passionate love or hate this is passionate hatred so be mindful with these energies all right it's also a crooked card so it's, it doesn't read too successful yeah it says i am truly a cry for help which it is because people who act like this it's 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 basically shedding a light on the inner child within them that needs help so when people act out like try to respond with grace okay because that, at the end of the day, they're just crying for help. It's like, I actually feel sorry for these people. I do. It's like, damn. Gave it in y'all. Yeah, man. I will fight for what I want in life. And that includes love. For, for, for some of you, this is someone who is fighting for, is competing for love reasons. For others of you, this is someone who's competing at work. Or just competing with you in general. My happily ever after is not looking too happy right now. There's something this person envisioned that is crumbling, whether with you, um, against you. There's something this person, that's why I said everything that is meant to come in the clear is going to come in the clear. And some people don't like their illusions dismantled. Some people don't like that what they thought was the case is no longer the case. So they get agitated, pissy, destructive. Okay. <laughs> it's like chill ounce um yeah time always tells right time always tells talking out the side of your neck talking ish sneak dissing and storyteller out of all the cards what did i say somebody here is trying to fabricate lies to assassinate the person's character tell stories but the stories didn't stick okay Okay, I should get a shirt that says, okay. <laughs> yeah, shysty snake, not to be trusted manipulator. I ain't even gonna bother y'all. Let's see if we can get some more uh, encouraging messages.
What angel messages do we have for the viewers? Please and thank you. Life purpose. The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus on serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you. So when I see this card, right? It reminds me of like an energy where people flock to a person who is indicative of some kind of like guide. All right. You could be, um, what's the word? This could be you coming into your life purpose because you're passionate about it, because you love what you do, because it's like, stop trying to put pressure on yourself by doing things by a certain time, by accomplishing things by a certain time or bugging out about, well, what is my purpose? Um, you'll find it because it's the things that you feel drawn towards, the things that you feel passionate about, the things that come easy to you, okay? And it's like, it'll snowball into something really great organically. But I really feel the energy of whatever it is that you're going to do, it's going to kick off in divine timing for some of you that is within this season. And people are going to learn from you, all right? There's a lot of wisdom. And I also get this, when I see this old man, it's like you're an old soul, you're an old soul, so it's going to come to you naturally. It's kind of like when people say, well, your wisdom exceeds your age, right? It's because there's an old soul in there. It's somebody who's been through this maybe in other lifetimes, okay? My leg just got chills. But yeah, it's like, I'm also hearing that's something nobody can take away from you. Nobody can take that away from you. Yeah, for a lot of you, you have like hidden protectors with those angels hovering around. That's beautiful. One more card. Child. Whoa. You care deeply about children. Wow. I'm done. <laughs> I felt like... <laughs> Listen. I felt called out just now, y'all. And they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child. Wow. Require love, affection, and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. So for some of you, this is someone who I'm hearing expecting. Wow. Some of you, there's someone expecting. For others of you, there's a calling where you have to work with kids. And for others of you, there's like an inner child in you that needs you. And what was I saying? I'm getting so many chills. What was I saying earlier about a cry for help? Someone here, their inner I'm hearing little girl or little boy is a cry for help, all right? And it's like, tend to that. Open your heart to tend to that. Go back in time and witness the, the younger version in you of you who needed care, who needed help, who needed, you know, a sound piece of advice. Some For some of you, I'm getting this energy right because obviously she's holding a child. Um, so there could be maternal energy here. There could be... I'm also seeing a mom who's like quite overwhelmed with her own kids, but it's like find time to like nurture your inner child as you um, basically entertain your kids or take care of your kids. It's like have the little girl in you have fun with them. Okay, I'm getting that intuitively as well. So there's a lot of maternal energy here. And for others of you, kids flock to you. Okay, animals could flock to you. High vibrational people usually get that. Okay. I don't know where it was. I watched this video of this woman. <laughs> she was heading into the water and she does Reiki. All of the turtles came out of the water to get healing from her hands. It was the craziest thing. So for some of you, you have that effect on people, um, on animals. Okay, that's, that's a sign here somewhere. For some of you, your maternal instincts are very strong. So you care for others much like a mother would. And that's needed in this world. So whatever it is don't shut it down okay keep that alive keep that alive in you oh timing cards haha -ha. take action and i see no in the reverse somebody here maybe needs to to learn to have boundaries um, someone here is also like i'm getting this flip energy someone needs to know when to take action for some of you it's been time and for others of you, this action comes with a boundary. The no is indicative of a boundary. It's in the reverse. Something maybe wasn't the right time as well. But there is a masculine energy here. And you could also be in your masculine energy when it comes to 
your career or ambitions, even as a woman, it's time to act. Like, and you're going to know. It's it's going to be undeniable. All right? The Ace of Wands was there. It's something that you're going to be excited about. Okay? Wow. It's at the bottom. Peaceful resolution. What did I say about peace be with you from the very beginning? It's. I'm just getting this energy of it. It's, it gets ugly before it gets good. And you need to hold that faith. Okay? Hold true to that. This cycle is going to be beautiful. Peaceful resolution. I'm also hearing just a peace of mind. Somebody who just wants a peace of mind. I mean, whoever this is in Nine Swords for sure, because shoot. That is uh, intense. That's one heck of a mind ache. Self love. For some of you, this is like a very. What did I say about like. Loving on you, the inner child in you, taking care of that. I'm done. What did I say about the no with the exclamation point being about healthy boundaries? Practice self-love this season, okay? And watch the good flow to you. And that's a little creepy though. I can't make it up in this new cycle. This is the end of a cycle. It gets ugly before it gets good. These cards, I don't even need these cards, y'all. <laughs> For real. I'm going to I'm gonna reach a point where I'm going to try to channel and just write, okay? But yes, definitely. To what? Regain balance. This is a balancing act. Too much of something can't be good for you, so it gets removed. Too much of this. I also just see a lot of negative energy, like unclean spirits being driven out of people yeah man i'm seeing this energy like if you're struggling right just ask god for help because for some of you there there are like this is not a battle that one can win without divine help This reads like, you know, a bit of a mental breakdown as well. It's like, mm -hmm. somebody here might need that. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. It says good luck. <laughs> good luck. Wow. Wow, good luck in, in every sense of the word. Good luck. <laughs> That's what I have for you. If this reading resonated, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.